Good afternoon, everybody. It's Lynn, the Leather Bag Lady. How are you all today? It is Monday today, a new week, uh, the last full week of August. The summer has screamed by, but it also hasn't. It, does that make any sense? We'll talk about it after. We'll talk about it after I show you this beautiful bag. So, the trend is a brand that I actually, you know what, while we're talking about this, I wanted to see if I could find in my little notebook here the trend. So let me just quickly, the trend is a brand that I absolutely love. It is a brand I have a lot of history with. I'm hoping that I have... I hope, I hope, I hope. Come on now. Oh, you know what? I don't think I do. How terrible. Oh, yes, I do. I, yes, I do. Okay, so we'll make that our history piece today. The trend is a brand that I recognized as being superior quality, even in my teens. I've talked to you about this little bag so many times. This is the first purse I ever purchased. And it is a trend. You can't even see it anymore. It's been rubbed off. This little bag gets picked up so many times when I'm doing my shows. The zipper's all broken. Because people want to check it out. And it's like, it's mine. It's not for sale. So this tiny little bag is the same shape as the bag today. But today's trend bag is bigger and bigger absolutely gorgeous now I love the mahogany color of this little guy but today's bag is black so the trend is just a great Canadian brand it is um, it used to be Aldo's house brand so when you would go into Aldo no sorry um, Calderon's house brand so Calderon is a higher end leather store that went out of business, I believe in 1997. Yeah, I don't have it right here. I believe it was 1997 it went out of business. And Aldo bought whatever um, was left of, the trend, of uh, Calderon. So this little bag, I saved up for a whole summer when I was 16, and I bought a pair of burgundy riding boots and this little bag. And it was a big deal for me because I have loved leather for as long as I can imagine. So me telling you that I recognize this as quality at age 16, I'm hoping gives me just all that more credential to be able to share with you the beautiful leather bags that I find from not on a daily basis anymore because I'm not out thrifting that much. But um, but yeah, I'm out there whenever I can. So this is today's bag, which is very, very similar to this little guy, just a lot more usable size. So there's your trend. This is all brass. This little ring. There is a little bit of, of green here, which which brass does do with age. Um, it's just a beautiful, beautiful bag. Now, it does have... It's been well broken in, which I am not mad at at all. Hang on. This zipper. There's a little something in this pocket I'm feeling. Huh. Oh, you know what it is? It's like a little crystal. Maybe I'll leave that. It's like a little amethyst crystal. I'm going to leave that in the purse. And hopefully that will pass along some good juju to whoever picks this bag up. So you have compartment, 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 and a zipper compartment. Nothing on the outside. This is an 80s bag. But I'm just telling you that it has been used quite a bit, and I'm not mad at that at all. What it gives you is an already broken in 
leather bag that is going to be able to take all your stuff without looking stupid because some of these bags that are a little bit more structured are so stiff and this one is not there's no uh you know no damage in the stress point of the crease i have had to recolor the edging a little bit some of the strap has lost a little bit of color on the underside but not again not mad at it at all it's a 25 inch strap drop i could maybe put another hole in there if a half an inch is a big deal for you <laughs> which i'm sorry some of you it might be <laughs> i know i'm getting boring with that but you know what hey it is what it is so this great little bag is just the trend on its best behavior now you can tell this is a vintage bag because it says made in Italy. These bags, the trend is still around. These bags are not made in Italy anymore. So this is, can you hear the leather? You hear it? Oh, it's just in the smell. Oh my God. Like this bag is 40 odd years old and it's still, there's more brass, the trend. It is just a gorgeous, gorgeous little bag. And I don't find these very often at all. I'm having a hot flash. I don't find these, this shape in particular, it's been years since I found uh, one like this, this size anyway, and in black. So they're not easily found these days. So that is today's bag. I've hurt my knee. I don't know what I've done. And it's like, it's like right in the, you know, it's not on the side of it or above or below. It's like right in my knee. I don't know what I've been doing. I haven't been jumping off any wardrobes or anything like that or swinging from chandelier. Well, maybe one or two. <laughs> but it's, it was a busy, busy weekend. We hosted Pius's two daughters and their families on Saturday and it was a lot of work. Oh my goodness me. I get very stressed when it comes to hosting because I don't know what I'm doing. My mother can take five ingredients out of the cupboard and cook a meal for guests. Not a problem. It's her thing. I know my dad kind of scratches his head a little bit because he doesn't know how she does it, but she does it. And she does it with style and grace and has time to do everything and still, you know, communicate with her guests. This chickie, no. I end up spending all my time in the kitchen, either mostly cleaning up because I'm not a cook, not a cook at all. But we smoked ribs, which actually weren't as good as the previous attempt which was our first attempt i don't know i just like the texture of the previous ones but they were really good still the kids loved them um pius's son-in-law loved them and he's kind of a bit of a smoker guru with the sexiest ford f-150 truck you have ever seen in your life it's called a tremor and it was a color of blue it is a color of blue that if you look at it in direct sunlight, it has a pearl, it's like beautiful. And then going down the street, it looks black. It is, and it has an orange uh, piping. The tremor sticker is orange. The interior, poor Pius, he listens to my videos and he knows I'm already gushing over this tremor. His poor F-150, I shit on it from our trip to Nova Scotia because we had a Ram um hemi <laughs> and now his son-in-law has like the quintessential i guess no the tremor and then there's one there's one above it or something i can't remember i can't remember the name of the one above it but oh my goodness me the stick shift folds down like it is just gorgeous so we all oohed and awed over the new truck and then the kids were fantastic. The grandkids from ages a month to six, I think. 
and um, it just it was just a great day we could not move at the end of the day we sat in the driveway and I said to Pius if I get up I have to go to bed because I will not be able to move any further and I kind of did nine o'clock I said listen but I'll go to bed good night I was so tired I can't even put it into words how tired I was and even last night we were still tired we um, Pius's daughter forgot a few things so we had to go back they live in Tilsonburg and we drove there we were supposed to go on the bike but it was gonna rain so we drove and it was just, I'm just bugging me that I can't remember the name of this other truck tremor and then the next one up anyway so it was a busy 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 weekend and that was fine we didn't really go anywhere else we didn't stay here we didn't go to Rosie's we didn't do anything we just enjoyed um, our own company we lazed around yesterday morning um, till probably like one o'clock we just kind of lay around and had a few little kisses here and there you know just new relationship stuff we're almost at three months now tomorrow will be three months if and that's what I was getting at where the summer has screamed by but it also hasn't because it feels like I've known him forever and it's only been three months which is not a long time but it's all wonderful as you know it's all wonderful so let's get a little bit of information on our trend leather bag uh lady weather report today it is supposed to be rainy but the sun was kind of coming out a little while ago so i don't know i need some thinking time so i might just go out on the deck anyway um pius was only supposed to work for a short while today but they've added some stuff onto his day so i will be home longer than i thought so i think i might uh rest this knee up a little bit and i worked out this morning at pius's house maybe He's got one of these Bowflex Stairmaster things. It is a killer. It really is. So maybe that I've done too much. I don't know. Hot flash, Annie. Ridiculous hot flashes. I don't know. I'm ready to, I don't know, go see the doctor or something. But anyway, let's get to our trend. So Italian imported high quality leather bags. Not anymore. Like I said, if they're made in Italy, that is your number one sign that it is a vintage bag. Uh, many retail locations, they had lots of them. Uh, been selling in Canada since the 80s. Um, started from the 1920s, Nicola Contigiani. He made hunting bags originally. I forgot all about that fact. I didn't even know that. So that's where the trend brand stemmed from. And they've been selling in Canada for over 50 years. And like I said, they were um, Calderon's house brand. And then Aldo bought them out. But you will be hard-pressed to find leather in Aldo today. It is just man-made material. Vegan leather, my ass. Vegan leather is just a fancy way to say plastic. And if you think that that is eco-friendly, then go bury your head, as my mom says. Because you put that plastic bag in a landfill, 100 years from now, it's still going to be there. This piece of leather will eventually decompose. How eco-friendly is that? I'm eco-friendly because I'm refurbishing and representing these beautiful pieces of fashion history that would otherwise be in the landfill. So that's my soapbox and I'm gonna get off it now. So that's it for me today. Oh, 14 minutes, holy crap, long, long, long one. If you're still with me, thank you. If you're not, I don't blame you. And I will talk to you tomorrow. Bye everybody.